We begin with that breaking news. An 11 year old boy is dead. His pregnant mother in critical condition after a shooting in Edgewater. This is a live look at the scene on Ravenswood and Thorndale. It's where Chicago police are expected to give an update on the investigation any moment. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman is also there and Marissa, you spoke with neighbors after this incident. What did they tell you? Yeah, Marie, good morning to you. They tell us they heard loud screaming before the shooting incident happened. We have learned that this appears to be a domestic related incident. Again, the victim's mother and child. And we're now learning, according to police sources, that child just 10 years old shot and killed. The mother is in critical condition and is eight months pregnant. Now, we also recently spoke with this woman's fiance. He's the father of that unborn child tells us he's clearly devastated and he believes he knows who the suspected shooter is. Again, we are in the Edgewater neighborhood just off of Ravenswood Avenue near Thorndale. The 40th Ward Alderman who lives just blocks away says shots were heard from neighbors here before eight this morning. Once police arrived on scene, they saw both the woman and that 10 year old boy both shot. Again, the child was rushed to Ascension St. Francis Hospital where he died. His mother, who was 34 years old, was shot in the neck and again in critical condition. Neighbors said they heard that screaming, screaming but were too scared to come out of their homes and intervene. I heard the screaming. I heard someone screaming for help. And then I just heard sirens. So I was like, hey, the police or the ambulance have got it, taken care of it. And that's about it. And to walk out and it's a homicide. It's very sad. Now, police do say they know the identity of the suspected shooter, but again, nobody is in custody, calling this an isolated incident. Again, moments away from a press conference from Chicago police. We'll bring you the latest details on this investigation as soon as we hear from them. For now, we're live in Edgewater. Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News.